hey guys welcome to the youtube channel if you're new here it's Ndagere. thanks for coming so in today's video this is something that really got my attention and as always guys let's talk about it i'm telling my daughter now at 13 the most important thing she can get in life is a good man more important than your degree because how many celebrities that you know that's rich famous got more money than you gonna ever get in your life have more fame than you gonna ever get in your life is more beautiful than you ever gonna be in your life and they're miserable they don't have a man. They can't keep a man. They're miserable. Look at uh, Taraji P. Henderson. She's like 50 right now. Go on vacation. You know why? She has no man. Let's get into the Taraji P. Henson that you're talking about. Do she look like she got any trouble getting a man? Have you lost it? And next and the most obvious is that it is weird that you are teaching your 13-year-old daughter that the best accomplishment that she can get in life is having a quote unquote good man of all the things that your child could accomplish in her lifetime you want to limit her to finding a good man that's what you want for your daughter see some of y'all need to stop projecting because what you're actually trying to do is trick women into being with men like you because y'all know that if women got the sense enough and enough money to avoid men like you they will. So what do y'all do? Y'all get on these podcasts and y'all try to make women believe that these are the kind of men that they have to choose from out there. Like nobody in their right mind is choosing y'all ragamuffins over a million dollars. And my last question is, are you still with your daughter's mother? Because if the answer is no, then you're not qualified to be giving this advice. And I'm almost sure that the answer is no, because you seem to consider yourself a good man. And if her mother wasn't happy with you, something didn't go well. I'm going to handle this video a little differently. I'm going to go to my dad. I'm going to ask him some questions and I'm going to show him this video and I will record his response. So he basically said that he encourages his 13 year old daughter to get a good man because it's more important than her career and stuff like that. So I definitely disagree with that. So how do you feel about that? What's what's your take on that? Talking to a 13 year old Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, hmm. I wouldn't be telling her the best thing to do is get a good man because that makes absolutely no sense. She needs to be a little girl. Well, she needs to be a teenager. And then she needs to experience being a teenage female and then go through some stuff and figure out later what's a good man because there's no, there are some good guys out there. But other than that, uh, there's no such thing as it's better to get a good guy than to get things you want to get no okay y'all so my mom is going to chip in too so basically you have a lot of people that feel like women should not prioritize their themselves and like their happiness first they feel like they should put it on the back burner for either the marriage because the thing like with tia mori and she's getting a divorce and she went i think she talked about it on the show and people in some comments were saying basically what she was doing was disgraceful because she needs to she needs to be prioritizing her marriage and not breaking up her family even though her decision made her happier like getting divorced made her happier so how do y'all feel well if the marriage wasn't working and she's not happy in the marriage, then I can't see how marriage would work if, if somebody's not happy. So, no, you, you, you can't prioritize a marriage because the both people need to be happy and working on the marriage. And if they're not doing that, then the marriage should dissolve. I agree. My thing is, uh, a woman should prioritize what she wants to do and what she expects out of life and what she wants uh, for her kids and for her husband, if she has one, and if it's not working out for her and the red flag's there, adios. Period. Period. So as you've heard in the video, the fact that these people get on platforms and say these kind of ridiculous statements is what really pisses people off. And me too, I got pressed. There is no way as a father coming out to tell his daughter the only important thing that she has to have in this life is a man. It's like he's putting his insecurities that he has as a man in his daughters. And I don't really accept it. Is that the man he is trying to portray to his kids only important thing on this planet for her to be a woman to be seen as a woman is to actually have a man really 
I am this person who really advocates for black men because they do really need a voice. But it's these kinds of people that really come out and they really get on your head. And this is one of it. I come from a place where I've seen, not from where I grew up from, because my experience was different. This is a problem in African culture as well. I'm this person who comes out and says, African women are provided for. But I grew up from a family where both the man and the woman were working all my life. But but still the woman could do what she was supposed to do but it's not like the man or her husband never encouraged her to do big or to grow herself he was really encouraging he was very supportive and that's what i experienced but still in the community where i grew up from some families from my friends even the neighbors the men would actually go and cheat get different women and then you know be proud of it and that is a problem I have. And when we come out as women and we say these things and we are labeled as feminists, when it's a problem, I don't know why it's so easy for men to think like as a woman, if I'm not ready to be with a man, then I'm not worthy to be a woman. That is a problem. I don't advocate for it. A lot of the times in African homes, when you reach 23, 24, 25 and you don't show a man, they see you somehow as someone who is like cast or something like that and if you don't have a child by 25 then it's a problem and that is a problem of itself so for him to sit down his child a teenager girl who should be just running around getting crazy discovering things how to know themselves but you are telling them everything else doesn't matter careers yourself it doesn't matter the only thing that matters is for your child to get a man are you empowering your child to be independent? Are you basically, you know, telling your child you don't matter. You only matter when you have a man. So this is a problem that is also in African culture and it needs to stop. Men have to validate women's feelings. Men have to validate girls' feelings. I'll make another video about this topic because it really needs to be talked about a lot. I mean, men, stop like stop telling girls what to do stop telling women what to do stop telling us what to do start empowering girls let's start empowering girls not to be feminists but to be independent we need to be independent so guys that is it for today i hope you like the video please comment and tell me what you think do you as a parent think your child should grow up thinking everything else doesn't matter about what they really want to have in life the only thing they should really advocate for is a man as a girl they should advocate for men than anything else they want to acquire in life as girls i mean let's talk about it i personally don't support it i really feel ashamed and it's really insulting it's really horrible and yeah that's all i have to say about it and i'll see you in the next video bye